All right, so let's talk a little bit about the turbo. This is how the turbo looks like originally. And the exhaust is pointing forwards, which is not very good. The intake is basically into the firewall. So in short, it is not going to work. So what we need to do, we need to turn this thing around. You know, you'd think like you just take this and turn it around. So let's do that and see what happens. Now you can see the kind of problem that we're getting into here. See? So we're gonna have to let go of some of these uh, studs. You know, I would like to get rid of these because it's quite easy to get a nut in here. Cannot get a nut in here, it is way too tight. So I would keep these and get rid of these and drill out the turbo housing. That would, that would get that on there. But there's also another problem that we're gonna run into when we uh, turn the turbo upside down like this and that is the oil feed lines and stuff. Everything is gonna be like upside down basically. Yeah, here you have the exit of the oil. Now that needs to be turned around. And I think that's where you get the whole uh, clocking the turbo thing because you, you re-clock everything, you turn everything around so that everything will fit again. So we're gonna go through that, but let's start with uh, removing these studs and drilling out uh, the housing so we can get it on here. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna get this one off first. So we'll undo this clamp right here and we'll just take this whole housing off. I have just loosely put this together. As you all remember, we have taken this all apart and we've cleaned everything, so it's just loosely assembled. I just wanted to show you guys like how it was from the beginning. Yeah, something like that. I'm not a turbo expert, but so let's put this thing to the side. Let's put this one back up into the vise. There we go, that's, that's a little bit easier. Okay, you don't want to clamp down too hard on this. This is a simple little trick. I think most of you know this. Just put one on here and then you put the other. Awkward. You can see that the thread just let go. I have no idea why, but it did. <laughs> Alright, so that one went a little bit easier. Alright, so let's see if it fits on there. Yep, looks like that's gonna be no problem. All right, so this is what we need to fix now. We need to make this uh, like a little bit more flat. We wanna get a nut on here now. And you don't want the nut on like on this rough surface here. Now, in an ideal world, you know, you would machine this down, but I think we're gonna have to do with an angle grinder and just kinda hit it, get the worst of this off and kinda make it a little bit flatter. And we'll see how it goes. We're also gonna get rid of these. I don't know if you guys can see those. There's a little dowel pin, that's what it's called. So there's a dowel pin right there, and there's a corresponding one. You guys see that? Right there, there's another dowel pin, and there's one in this casing as well. Uh, those will need to be removed, since we're gonna, we're gonna have to turn this and fiddle with it. Sight come loose. It. That's gone. Ah. <laughs> it always scares me a little bit with that locking ring. There we go. Put that to the side. All right, so right here you can see the locking pin. So we gotta get rid of that. There we go. All right, so let's loosely 
bolt this on here. If the audio is weird, guys, it's because I'm using uh, my cell phone for filming and I have completely new ca uh, audio gear, so I'm not really quite used to it yet. Uh, I sold my camera, as you guys might, uh, might have seen on my Instagram. I did a foolish mistake. Uh, I was gonna upgrade for uh, this year, 2022. I wanted a bit of an upgrade, so I was gonna buy a new camera and everything. So I sold my old camera in the belief that I could just walk into any camera store and buy a new one. But due to the lack of semiconductors, every single camera is like made to order right now. I'm on a waiting list and they say I might have to wait up to three months to get a new camera. So yeah, we got this one and we got the GoPro. So I figured I'd make an episode with each and we'll see which one we're gonna go with. I'm thinking, you know, we need the, uh, the outlet here, we need that pointing down. We know that. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Yeah, you can't really hesitate. Once you go, you just gotta go for it. All right, so this brings us to the wastegate and the other, or the next issue uh, with the wastegate. Because right now, as you can see, the wastegate is supposed to go on like this. But since we turned everything around, now nothing really fits. And there are no brackets for this over here. So what do we do? Well, we get the wastegate kit. This is a wastegate kit or wastegate relocation kit. Uh, I don't really know how this goes on there, but there's a little picture here. Thinking something like this. All right, you guys, so now that I got the turbo on here, I can measure out and kind of figure out uh, where I want the water pipes for the turbo cooling to go. And once I've done that and modified the water pipe accordingly, we can assemble the rest of this engine. All right, see you guys in the next episode.